I want to share with you another example of a recursive definition of a set. Some of you may have seen this uh, in class, um, but I'm going to repeat it briefly here just for the benefit of those who may not have been in class. Um, so I'm going to define uh, B as the set of binary trees. And what does that mean? Well, I'm going to define it here. So first of all, I declare as a base case that this square thing, uh, which I'm going to call the empty tree, is an element of my set. Um, and then I just have this single uh, recursive rule that says if I have two trees, T1 and T2, that are already in my set, then I can make this new tree uh, by having uh, a branch node at the top and then T1 on the left and T2 on the right. And this thing is now going to also be a member of my set B. Um, so for example, right, what well, we already said that this empty tree is in there. Um, if I take, if T1 and T2 are both the empty tree, then if I apply this rule, I get this tree here, right, with a single branch and then just two empty trees under it. Uh, I can now take, for example, now that this tree is in my set, if I take this tree as T1 and the empty tree as T2, and I apply this rule, uh, I get this, right? So which has this tree to the left and an empty tree to the right. Um, or I could have done it this way. Or now, you know, I could take this one as T1 and this one as my T2. And if I apply this rule, uh, I get this tree and so on. Um, one observation I want to make first is that uh, these are always going to have all these empty trees all along the bottom, right? There's no way you can stop uh, except when you get to an empty tree. Because this rule, the only two, these are the only two ways to make a tree, uh, and this rule doesn't let me stop. It, I have to keep going and have two more trees under there. The only way I can stop is by having an empty. So I'm always going to have empties everywhere on the bottom, so it's kind of actually silly to draw them. Um, it's just a waste of chalk and time in some sense. So as kind of an, as an abbreviation, I'm going to draw, so this will still draw as a square because we have to have something. But this one I'm just going to draw as a single dot, right? And we just understand that if I don't put any children under it, it has to just be the empty tree. Uh, this one I'm going to draw just as like this, right? Uh, Again, we understand that there has to be an empty tree over here, and there's empty trees here and here. This one I'm going to draw like this. And then this one, for example, I would draw like this. Basically, I'm just going to delete that empty tree, all those empty trees on the bottom everywhere that I see them. That's just going to make it a little easier for me to uh, draw these without spending a whole lot of time drawing these empty trees. Okay. So uh, the question that I posed in class um, that I'll pose again here is, um, how many trees are there of, you know, with a certain number of branch nodes? So it's pretty easy to see that, well, this is the only tree with zero branches, and this is the only tree with only one branch. Right there it is, right there, one. Um, and uh, we also figured out that these are the only two trees with two branches, um, because well, I have to have one at the top, and then I, if I want one more, I've got to either put it on the left or on the right, and those are really my only two choices. Okay, um, so then you can ask, well, how about so this one has four, right? How many would there be with three branches, and how many would there be with four or with five, um, and how can we be sure that we have counted all of them? So if you didn't get a chance to think about this in class the other day, I would encourage you to pause the video at this point. Um, and try this for yourself, right? Try drawing out all the trees that you can make using these rules that have exactly three of these uh, branch nodes and see if maybe if you could do four uh, and so on. So let's make a, I'm going to make a table up here. Um, so here is, here's my only tree with uh, zero branches. Here's my only tree with one branch, which again, I'm just going to draw as a dot. I'm not going to draw the empty trees coming off of it here. Um, for two, right, we have two of them. There's this one, and there's this one. Okay, for three, so let's think about it. Um, I have to have a node at the top. Uh, and then 
Uh, one thing I could do, right, is I could have one more node on the left and one on the right. So that would be one valid way to make a tree with three branches. Um, but I could also take both of these nodes and put them both on the left or put them both on the right. So if I put them both on the left, then I kind of have two choices of what to do. I could either you know, have them go like this, or I could have them go the other way. Okay, And then over here, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the mirror image. Uh, I'm just going to have the two on the right instead of on the left. And uh, you can convince yourself that these are the only ways we could do this. Um, and here's one way to, to argue why these, these are the only possible poss possibilities. Um, I've got one at the top, and so I've got two left. And there's only three ways I could split them up. I could put uh, two on the left and zero on the right. I could put one on each side, or I could put zero on the left and two on the right. Uh, if I put one on each side, this is the only thing I can do because there's only one way to make a tree with one branch. Uh, if I put two on the left, then I have two choices of what to do because we already know there's two ways to make a tree with two branches. And then similarly for the right. Okay, So I could kind of, uh, let's see, let's do this color. Right, this is like two zero, this is one one, and this is zero two. So we're going to label these um, sort of according to how many nodes we put on the left side of the root and how many we put on the right side. Okay, so, uh, and I think several of you in class figured this out that there were in fact five of these. But no one figured out the correct thing for four. But given this uh, uh, kind of scheme of enumerating them, maybe we can figure out what the right number is for four. Okay, so again, I have to put one at the top and then I have three more nodes and I could put uh, three on the left and zero on the right. So let's start with that, okay? <clears throat> so if I put one at the top, none on the right, uh, and three on the left, how many ways do I have to do that, to put three nodes on the left? Well, there's five. I already know exactly what all the possible trees are with three nodes, and I could take any one of these things and put them on the left side of this. Okay, so let's draw those out. So it could be like this, or I could have this one, or this one, this one here looks like this. And then this one here looks like that. Okay, so I basically all of these start with one uh, edge going down to the left, and then I have each of these five possible trees down here. Okay, so those are all the possible ways to put three nodes on the left side and zero on the right side. Right, then I could also put uh, two on the left side and one on the right side. Um, there's only one way to put one on the right side, uh, and there's two ways to put two on the left side. So those will look like this. I can have, oh, whoops. I can leave myself quite enough space here. There we go, there they are. And um, I don't have enough space on the board to draw out all the rest. Uh, it is. It is, looks kind of pretty, and it's fun to actually draw out all of them. So I'll let you do that. But we can finish just by observing that, um, you know, after here, I'm going to have all the ones with one on the left and two on the right, and then zero on the left and three on the right. And all of these are going to be exact mirror images of the ones we already drew. So if I took this whole picture and flipped it over uh, over to here, I would get all the rest. Okay. So the mirror image. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, plus two is seven. And then the mirror image is over here, so we'll get uh, 14 in total. So there's 
one here, one here, two here, five here, and 14 here. And I challenge you, using this same kind of scheme, see if you can figure out uh, the correct number for five notes. It's a little bigger than 14, but it's doable.